Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a slightly 3D beach wave tumbler. Um, this was completely inspired by Sandy's Organized Chaos. I think she made one of these pretty similar about a year or so ago, so I do want to give her a lot of credit for um, my idea for this tumbler. And I am so sorry for how my voice is going to be sounding. I am super sick. It's like a really bad cold or something, but um, I feel and sound pretty rough so I'm, I'm really really sorry for how this voiceover is going to sound but let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. So I'm starting off with a 30 ounce skinny straight from Makerflow Crafts. I'll put the exact spray paints that I used down in the description. I'm going to put some tacket in a little medicine cup and dilute it with like literally two drops of water. That just helps me spread it around the tumbler. Now even though this is not a tacket method tumbler, I'm using tacket just to give me some more working time because since I'm working with four glitters and I'm trying to, you know, put them in like a precise way, it's going to take me a little longer than just one glitter covering the entire tumbler with Mod Podge like I do. So this is just going to give me a much longer working time. Now I'm going to take um, all the glitter grind glitters, of course. This one is Pool Party. And I'm just following the direction of the most similar um, paint color. And I'm going in like, you know, that diagonal direction. Slightly um, tilting my tumbler to get that little tiny bit of an ombre going. Now I'm going to go in with my second glitter and I'm just doing the exact same thing, just holding my shaker about eight inches above the tumbler um, and just slightly tilting it to give that little tiny bit of an ombre. I'm not trying to ombre it like too crazy much, but I also don't want it to look like like a straight line of all of my glitters. So I'm going to keep doing this with all of my glitters until my tumbler is completely covered and then I'm going to seal it with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. Pop in on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm just going to add one layer of epoxy and then move on to the next step. After one coat of epoxy, it is still pretty rough, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to go ahead and move on. So this is the really, really fun part that I'm the most excited about. And this is the part that was inspired by Sandy's Organized Chaos. So this is Glitter Snow. Get it on Amazon. And I have like this slightly rounded brush. And this is where the slightly 3D effect of this tumbler comes in. So it's kind of like a really, really thick white paint. And I'm taking a bit of it and kind of like globbing it on, I suppose. But then I'm also going back in over that glob and kind of like pushing it towards the gold sand, so to speak, of the tumbler. So I'm globbing it on and then pushing those globs. <laughs> I know it sounds so weird. Pushing the globs um, to where it's the thickest point of this glitter snow at the very tip. So like, you know how the waves crash on the shore and it kind of like forms like the thicker bubbly looking part of the wave at the very tip. And then I am taking what's pretty much left over of that and very lightly pulling it back just to try to like help it fade and blend into that white glitter. So if you think about how waves crash onto the shore, like I said, they all like they go up onto the shore. It's got that thick like bubbly white rim around the very um, front of it and then it's kind of like faded back into the rest of the ocean so that's the a look that I'm trying to um, achieve here and then once I get this lined on that entire um, white and gold section of the tumbler I am going to let it dry overnight um, just to make sure that it is completely hardened and nothing like smears um, whenever I go to flip it over for a decal or to put epoxy on it or anything like that Okay, so this is the next day. There's no epoxy. I just let that completely harden, but I think it looks so, so good. Now it is time to add um, a decal, and I didn't get this decal from anywhere. It's just something that I typed up on my um, silhouette. I just wanted something super, super simple. So I have this um, holographic blue vinyl, and I just typed in the ocean is calling, and then I have a textured gold vinyl, 
Um, and I typed out, and I must go. So the ocean is calling, and I must go. I just wanted something really, really simple. I didn't want anything too flashy because I want the main, like, focal point of this tumbler really to be those really nice, pretty waves. So I'm using um, transfer tape from Hippie Crafter, and I'm going to put the ocean is calling kind of, like, at the top part of that gold section as close to the waves as I possibly can push down in the middle work my way out very carefully remove this transfer tape this is my favorite transfer tape by the way and then I'm just going to um, add that second phrase and I must go right under it I was gonna put it right in the middle but then I figured at the last minute I think it looks kind of good um, and like an offset so I kind of put it off to the side um but this is also a really fun trick of how I get everything to stick to my transfer tape is to kind of like flip it over, push down on it, and then like roll peel the backing off. It's just transfer tape, you know, it doesn't get, it doesn't stay super sticky once you use it a hundred times. Um, but I like to use it until the wheels fall off. So this is how I'm able to just keep using that transfer tape um, over and over again. Now, once my decals are on, I'm going to add another coat of epoxy and then come back for the next step. So now there's one coat of epoxy over this and that's like the waves is really, really rough. So I'm going to take the absolute um, highest grit of, of a sanding block that I have, which is a 220 grit. And I'm just using the side of it and just very, very, very lightly sanding. I'm not trying to like mess anything up and get through that epoxy and possibly um, scratch it or, or chip pieces off. I want it to stay how it looks. So I'm just very, very, very lightly going over it with that 220 grit sanding block. And then just to clean it up some more before I add the final layer of epoxy, I'm going to go in with some 91% rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and just clean that up. So there's not any, um, like sanding dust on there. And then I'm just going to add my final coat of Flynn sisters epoxy and this bad boy will be done. All right, so I'm not going to put too much epoxy on there because I don't want it to be super, super thick. There's just a slight bit of texture right here. That's totally fine. If I put like six coats of epoxy on there just to get this completely smooth, um, this is going to be a really bulky, really heavy tumbler. So I'm just going to keep it how it is. I am completely obsessed with this. I love it so, so much. Again, this was completely inspired by Sandy's Organized Chaos. She made one of these pretty similar about a year ago. Um, and I just had to make one for myself. I love this so, so much. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, be yourself, everyone else is already taken. That's all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!